In this short video, we're going to show you how to use the crop feature in Hoboware Pro to remove portions of your data file that you may want to eliminate from your view. Keep in mind that the raw data file, either .hobo format for our USB loggers or .dtf for our station loggers, cannot be edited at all in Hoboware. All we can do is remove certain portions using the crop feature and then we can save that as a hobo project file. The original .hobo file or .dtf file stays intact. So to use crop, the first thing we want to do is we can say, all right, well, here's my, my range of data. And so our first data point was on November 28th of 2016 at 2 p.m. And our last data point was on the 6th of December the same year. So if we want to crop out a specific area, we would use our arrow tool and then right click our mouse and you can see right in the middle here crop series. So this is where we can select what series we want to crop. By default it includes all of them. This is a pendant temp light file so we can either we can include uh, both sensors or we can exclude either one from our uh, crop. So here I'm just going to crop out the beginning of this so let's um, we're going to start at 2 p.m. which is our first data point and we're, let's crop out let's say the first day. So we're going to go to 11 29 also at 2 p.m. And we're going to crop out the first 24 hours. So if we click on crop, so now all we have in our data display is the first day worth of data. And again, your crop bounds are the data you want to include in your crop. So now once you have that done, you can file, you can go to file and save project and save this as what's called an HPROJ file and it will retain that formatting for you. Keep in mind that your original .hobo file stays intact. You cannot edit that. 